How's it going once again guys and welcome back to this playthrough of The Walking Dead. Last time we were together we collected the um, your battery. That's the one we needed to get. We got the battery, Kenny got the fuel and now we are just waiting for medicine. So I'm not sure where we need to go or what we need to do but I'm going to go and have a bit of a chat with Kenny over here. See how they're doing with the door. Because apparently this is an armory so I'm going to assume that, that means there's a shitload of guns. We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. Oh, come on. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? What do you mean, lately? That's a really dick move. It's no, like... wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Okay. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? Oh, no. It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. Oh. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Pretty sure he can hear you. <laughs> All right, you know what? You I should agree. tell him. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. We <laughs> just go batshit. Like, wah! I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Oh, I'm sorry. Does he have a friggin' tantrum? Because I told him not to tell Kenny that he killed his wife and son. Like, alright, well, I'm sorry about that, Mr. Man. I'm very sorry. Oh, can I have circle time? Can I, like, sit down here and have circle time? I'm gonna have a look. Hopscotch. Oh. Oh, I wanted it to be circle time. That would have been brilliant. Just randomly sit down and have a bit of a chill. Okay, let's go and, let's go and find out where this medicine is. It's gotta be around here somewhere. they Wait, did they go? I'm, I think, no, they didn't go that way. What's that? What does that say? What is that? Welcome, citizens to Crawford. the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Oh, uh, maybe. That's the guy that's been speaking to us on the radio? Do you reckon that could be the case? I don't know. I have, I, I have no idea at this point in time. Should I, should I open this door? <laughs> I think I better leave it alone. Oh, that's a shame. It's kind of hoping you just got to go along and randomly open the door that's got shitloads of zombies behind it. It's like, oh, there's a cat sat there, staring out the window. Shall I get the kitty? No, I'll leave the kitty alone. Holy Shit. Jesus! Okay, that was sudden. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Okay, what what do I do then? Do I kill them? I I don't know. Should should I do it? Is that a bad idea or a good idea? I don't know. Well, the only thing I can do is kill them, so sod it, let's do this. One. Okay, yeah, that's attracted their attention. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. <laughs> All done. Brilliant. That's how we roll. Inevitably. Apparently. Oi, 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 oi. What are you doing? What the hell Stop happened? Stop it. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Oh, no. Can't we shoot it off? Shoot it. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Ah. Oh. Okay, can't we just bust it open? There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Molly! Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I reckon Molly knows the code. Because I reckon she was the nurse. I, re I think that's what is going down here. What is this? A copy machine. That it matters with no power around here. Okay. <laughs> Why would we need to make copies? Just a bunch of papers. 
No safe combination, though. Okay, just a bunch of papers. Really badly written. Okay, oh, hello, what's that? Oh, hello. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Do you reckon that could... Okay, so I got a tape, but there's no power, so it's not really Phones useful. probably haven't worked in months. Probably, probably haven't. Okay, so, where we are? Look at the bed. Shall I have a chat with Vernon? I, I apparently can. Let's go and have a bit of a chat with Vernon. Hey, Vernon. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Too late for what? I'm, okay, about Molly. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took mm. off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, she'll be back. Bloody well, I hope, hope so. so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. I kind of have that feeling as well, do you know what I mean? She just definitely has a mercenary feel to her. Okay, about Omid. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? Yes. The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Oh, that's grim. Okay, thank you for coming with us. Hey, Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. Get I really head. appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. Yeah. I heard that. I I'll agree. see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Alright, so if I go outside, is Molly going to be out there? I could shoot it. <laughs> Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Aw, oh, what? Oh, what's that? What's this on the floor? Ultra scan. It's Sound. a sonogram. That's the one. She definitely is pregnant. Looks pretty sturdy. No way we're gonna force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. Well, we don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. Well, I'm sorry. I don't see her doing anything, do you? Okay, I'm gonna... What is... There's some... There's like a pair of knives on the floor or something. What, what is that? Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a video camera. He put that in the Vernon, wrong way round. Krista, come look at this. That was backwards. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Wait, what? Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, no. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Ooh. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. What? You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it, and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. Oh, I don't want the procedure. Oh, damn it. I want my baby. I can't. He's gonna use the code. I'm gonna. Anna, need you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll oh. have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, damn! Open the. Oh, he was gonna open the gate. That's that guy that Molly was killing. That is the guy. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Wait, you're kidding me, right? You want me to go out there? Well, there are lots and lots of zombies out there. Okay, looks like we're going outside. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. This is not going to end well. Okay. Um, wait, where are the dead... Oh, there they are. There's, there's, there's the dead things. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, yeah, where are these dead things that I killed? They should be around here somewhere. Is that a tree? Yeah, there's definitely a tree busted in here. Okay, so... Let's go to the door. Because that guy might... Actually, no, he was still alive, wasn't he? So... What does that mean? Does that mean he's gone? It probably does. 
So what do we do? Because there was a thing that ran past me behind me, wasn't there? What's down here? What what is what is down here? No, nope, that's just a metal grate. Okay, that's not exactly useful. All right, are we going? Oh, hello. What's that? Delivery is made in the rear. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Delivery is made in the rear. It's so funny. It's it's a sex thing. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Where did you come from, Dick? No, no, get off! No! Who the hell is this guy? Okay. Wait, what just tap? He got killed by a telly. <laughs> Television killed the zombie. There's a song in there somewhere. Okay, you're gonna do it again? Yep, he's, he's jumping again. Okay, he's just jumped down into the alley where there are a load of zombies. Oh, there he is. There's the buddy. He's still alive. So how are we gonna get out now? Because we don't have a carjack anymore. Okay, stomp his head. Stomp it. Stomp it good. There we go. Okay, so obviously there's no information that we could have got him to tell us, so... He might, he might have another tape on him. If he does have another tape, that would be useful. Or like, I don't know. Ah, there we go. There's another tape. This might be just what we need. And what's Possibly. This? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, shit. just stand still. Time to go. Just stand still, man. Stand still. Wait, how did he get over there? How did he get over the fence? Hmm, these questions need answers, man. They definitely need answers. Oh, oh, oh. Every time I come through this alley, those zombies sat... Wait a minute. Maybe it's to that. Maybe maybe it's to that. I remember that was locked. Logan. This must have been his locker. Oh, okay. All right. So, we found the combination. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Okay, so that guy was called Logan. So we just got to go in and watch the other two tapes. Molly's going to be in one of them, isn't she? Molly is definitely going to be in one of those tapes, and I bet Molly is pregnant. Wait, no, she's probably not going to be pregnant. She's probably got some kind of disease. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. That's what she said. Aha! <laughs> and they put it in backwards again. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes? If this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I wanted to see two. Oh! Oh! How was that about? No. 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 Wait, so was he the guy that started it all? We know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Yay. Why is she so sad? Pregnant. What's wrong? Okay, um, I don't know. What, what, uh, Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Pregnant. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Yay! We're in business. There doesn't look like there's anything Antibiotics, in morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Okay. It's going to be about Molly. It's definitely going to be about Molly. Okay, do I have the choice to watch it? I do definitely have the choice to watch it. But before I do, I'm going to end that one there. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. Much love and peace out. Bye-bye.